Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this minimal text reveal animation in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it for any kind of text. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and we will begin by creating any composition. So let's call this one main. Greater than height will be 1920 by 1080. Frame rate you can set it to 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and I'm going to call this one character or you can just simply type the first letter of your word. So I'm going to type motion. So I'm going to type M and for width and height, we can just simply set this to 500 by 500. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now here we have our composition. Now let's go back to the main comp and we are going to quickly add a solid. So right click new, let's add a solid and let's change its color. I'm going to like make it a little bit off white sort of color like that now let's go back to the m comp and over here we can start adding our text so first i'm going to like select the text tool let's click and let's type our text so i'm going to type motion so the first letter is m so we're going to type m also i'm using this montserrat black font but it's completely up to you can use whatever font you want bold fonts usually tend to look good with this sort of animation so if you have a bolder font then it will look good so let's align it using the align panel if you're not able to see it then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it also let's make its anchor point in the center so you can hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool perfect here we have our character now we can press s to scale it up so let's just scale it to something like this so I think this looks good. Perfect. Now we don't have to select any layer. So I'm going to just simply select the shape layer, which is this one. And let's just change the stroke color to whatever we want. So I'm going to like make it a little bit sort of this. And we can just drop it down to let's say two for now. After that, you can just simply click and hold on the shift key and let's drag. So we basically want to create a square, which is of this exact size. So I'm going to like squeeze it in. Perfect. So here we have our square. Now it's completely up to you. you can play around with the thickness. I'm going to let's set this to three. So I think this looks good. Or maybe let's set this to 2.5. Perfect. Yeah, I think this looks good. So once you're happy with this, we are ready to add more lines. So first I'm going to select the pen tool. Make sure none of the layer is selected. Now after that, you can just simply zoom in. Just click over here and you can hold down the shift key and just click on this point. So it will create a perfectly straight line and we can make it sync point in the center as well so for that we can select this and let's just double click on this while holding the control key so now it's anchor point is already in the center now we can just simply align it wherever we want so i'm going to just align it to this corner something like that perfect so once you're happy with this we are ready to animate it out so for that we can just simply open it up let's go to add and let's add trim path now let's open it up so first I'm going to set this endpoint to zero. Let's add a keyframe. Now let's go to one second and I'm going to set this to 100. Now we can select the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Let's change the graph to look something like this. Now if I press play, you can see we have this sort of animation. I think this looks good. Perfect. So once you're done with this, we are ready to like duplicate this and place it at other places as well. So let's select this, press Ctrl D and we can like place one line over here as well. Now we can press R and let's rotate it by 180 degree so that this one comes from top and this one starts from the bottom like this. Now in the same way, we can just simply select this, press Ctrl D. Now we can select the pen tool and let's pick this point and we can like make it move it over here. Then again, we can select the other point and let's just move it to this side. We basically want to create these diagonal points. So let's just place it somewhere around here. Now we can play around with the other part. First, let me just quickly align it to something like that. Now again, we can just simply select this and let's just place it over here. Just make sure that this line is completely filled. So let's just move it to this point. So I think now we are having the perfect line. Now we can select this and let's make sure that it's anchor point is in the center. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D and let's press R. Now we can just simply rotate it like this and we can just place it where we have this perfect. So here we have the diagonal line as well. Now again, we can select this, press Ctrl D. We have one more over here. Just simply 
use this technique to create all the lines which we have over here we have one to this side now we don't want this to like go outside the frame so we can probably select this and let's move it to this side let's select this press ctrl d let's press r and i'm going to like simply rotate it to the other side and let's just place it to this point let's just set this to zero just play around with these and just find wherever you think it looks good and let's select this endpoint and let's trim it in perfect so here you can see we have created this now we need one for the flat line as well so let's select a vertical line let's select this one press ctrl d let's press r and i'm going to like rotate it to negative 90 and we can just simply place it to over here like this perfect now we can press ctrl d and let's just place one to this side let's just align it over here now we have one more over here let's press ctrl d and let's place one to this side as well perfect so now we have covered all the sides and if i press play you can see we have all the lines animating perfect let's add some animation to the square as well so for that we can select one of these layers let's just simply copy these keyframes or just simply select this square and we can press ctrl v now it will have the trim path as well perfect so here we have everything now we can select all of these keyframes and let's just move them a little bit ahead because i want them to be a little bit smoother perfect yeah this looks good now once you're done with this we are ready to like animate our text in so for that we can like probably make move it to something like here uh, around here perfect now in order to make this appear we are going to like draw a rough shape of this m so let's select the pen tool and i'm going to quickly change its color to red because we are going to draw a outline so let's just simply click over here hold on the shift key let's click over here now we can increase this so that the the complete m is like covered we can like move it to this side perfect so once you're done with this we can just keep on continuing this just click over here and let's just cover everything now we can click to this side just play around with these points so we have it over here and after that we can click like that So here you can see now we have covered the M. Now we can again simply copy these keyframes which we have over here. Press Ctrl C and let's just simply paste it over here. So now we have this moving stroke like this. Now we can change the track mode of this layer. So we can just simply go and from here you can either pick whip and select the layer which is on the top. Now if you're using the older versions of After Effects then you won't have this pick whip and instead of these layer names you will have track mode alpha mat. Just simply place this layer like text layer below the shape layer and after that select the track pad and you will have this now here you can see we have our m like revealing so once you're happy with this we are ready to like animate other characters as well so let's go back to the main comp and let's drag the m which we have over here now if i press play you can see we have created this m now before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue perfect now in the same way we can create the other characters as well but instead of like recreating it we can just simply select this layer and let's press ctrl d to duplicate this now over here we are going to like change this so the next character is o so let's select this and i'm going to like instead of m let's type o now we can delete this top shape layer perfect now we can get rid of most of these so let's select these points so we can like delete this one as well and we can delete this as well let's keep this one let's delete this and we can probably like move it a little bit down perfect let's select this one like we can move it like a little bit up Let's select this and we can probably delete this and we can probably select this one and delete this perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to like animate the ellipse so for that we can either draw a shape using the pen tool so let's quickly do that so make sure none of the layer is selected after that just simply click 
and let's just click over here and let's just create a rough shape like that now we can just click over here so that it will create this ellipse now we can play around with it to make it like a perfect circle so let me just quickly play around with these now sometimes you will have to increase the width to like cover everything so i think this looks perfect now again we can just simply select this end property Control c to copy it and let's just paste it over here now again we can set this track mat to this layer now here you can see we have this animation and after that we have this o coming up perfect so here we have created the o now in the same way you can just keep on creating the other layer so we have m o let's create t so let's duplicate this by pressing ctrl d let's go inside this quickly rename this to t now let's select this and let's type t you can probably delete this layer now again t is very simple all we have to do is just simply align the straight lines so which we have over here we can align it to this point let's select this one we can probably delete this let's select this we can delete this as well delete this let's delete this or we can probably like place it to this side perfect we can select this and this is perfect this is perfect we have this one we can place it to this side let's delete this diagonal as well so here you can see we have the t now again for this one we can like select the shape tool and just simply click and let's click over here now let's play around with its thickness something like that now again we can click and let's move to this side now we can click down just play around with its position so yeah i think this is a little bit thicker so we can just place it over here now we can select these two points and let's move them a little bit up now we can increase the stroke to cover this letter completely perfect now again copy these and just simply paste it after that change this to track map now here you can see we have created this t now in the same way you can like keep on going and you can keep on creating the other letters as well now i will come back once i have created all the other letters so now i have created all of these other characters as well now in case your characters are looking like little bit blurry then you can just simply select them and enable the collapse transformation from here now these will be like sharp now there is one more thing you will notice that if i open this up you can see that the character is filled like this and after that these lines stay so we can get rid of it by simply animating their opacity so let's simply pick a point so somewhere around here we can just simply select one of these layers press t for opacity let's add a keyframe now we can like move little bit ahead something like this and we can set this to zero or maybe a little bit more like that now after that just simply copy these keyframes press ctrl c and select all the layers except the letter so just press ctrl v now you can see that it will fade away like that so you can just simply copy and paste this opacity keyframe to all the other layers now i am done so if i just quickly align these letters let's pick m and i'm going to like place it somewhere around here now let's pick o and let's go to the very beginning or somewhere around where we have this d square now i'm going to like zoom in so let's make it touch each other and after that you can hold on shift key and let's move them twice now again let's pick the next layer which is t and let's move them like Two frames or two times ahead and probably place it to like this and let's just move it like two times perfect so here you can see we have all the characters now we can roughly align them to the center let's enable the title action safe so we can probably like move them something like that so yeah this is sort of the center perfect so now if i press play you can see we have all of these characters coming in nice now we can get rid of this now let's add a null object now let's add a null object right click let's add null and let's select all of these and we can parent it to this null object now if you're not able to see the parent then you can right click over here and under the columns if from here you can like enable it now once you're happy, done with this we can press s let's add a keyframe for scale let's go to the very beginning and we can like probably scale them up like that now somewhere around here we can like make it 100 so select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and we can probably 
change the graph to look something like that so i think this looks good perfect now let's go a little bit ahead and we can probably like scale it even down to something like that perfect now you can see that we have this animation let's just play with the graph over here as well now you can see that we have these characters and the gap between these letters is not uniform so we can quickly fix that by simply selecting this text tool and let's type motion once again and let's just change its color to red and we are going to roughly align all of these letters to this let's align it over here and let's make it and cover in the center let's press s and let's just scale this down and we can probably like scale it up to something like that and we can like do the same thing to match the height with these letters perfect so once you're done with this we can like probably move these letters as well so let's just select all of these press p for position let's add keyframes now let's go to this point now we can start like moving these characters to these red ones so let's place this m to something like that let's just place this o to this point now in the same way just move this t now we have moved all of these characters now we can probably get rid of this main text which we use for the reference now we can select these press f9 now we can like select all of these keyframes let's go to the graph and we can change the graph to look something like this now we can like add easing at the end and in the beginning we can like make it start a little bit slower perfect so now if i press play you can see we have all of these characters coming in and after that we have our final text so this is how you can create these kind of animations and you can just keep on going you can create all the other characters and you can just form whatever word you want so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.